Hi, I'm Richard Bogert with Uncle Norm's Marine Products. We get asked all the time, what's the difference? Uh, the difference between the orca fin and the dolphin fin and tell me about the minnow fin and well what about the fins for the troll plates and, and uh, the hydrofoil. So, uh, we're going to do this video, it's uh, really short, uh, so uh, we're going to be moving along. This is a dolphin fin. It's, it's got a number of rows of mounting holes on the left and right side. These three rows of holes on this side and this side are for the never or the no drill clamp set that goes with the fin or can be mounted with the no drill clamp set. And then there's a cutout here that is notched or stepped here in the back to fit different widths of spines on the rear rear of the motor. Um, those that are really narrow can just center on this slot and those that are a little wider can center on these cutouts there. Uh, mounting holes along this side for bolting the fin on directly uh, if you want to drill through the anti-cavitation plate and bolt it on. The and you can see that we're about a foot wide. Uh, the dolphin fin is primarily used on lower horsepower motors, say up to 30, 35 horsepower, and relatively slower boats. Uh, so these are primarily used for like trolling motors, kickers, that sort of thing. Uh, the material is a little thinner than the orca fin because they're made to run at lower power and lower speeds. The orca fin, as you can see, is quite a bit larger. Uh, this is the fin that goes on the main power motor of the boat. Uh, if you have an inboard-outboard motor, this is what you're going to use. Uh, if you have a, a higher powered uh, outboard motor, this is what you're going to use. Uh, the mounting system is the same, same, we use the same clamp set for the clamp on system and we use the same type of system for bolting them on uh, if you want to drill through your cavitation plate and bolt it on. The material is thicker, they're made for higher speed. The thing about the, the Orca fin is that it can be mounted with the fins down for inboard outboards for example and outboard motors. Um, bigger boats that need more control and if you had an extremely fast boat uh, you might want to reverse the fin and mount the fins up so that when the boat is low and slow and the fins and the engine is setting down lower in the water the fins are still active running in the stream but as you get up on plane and the cavitation plate comes up to the surface, the fins kind of climb out of the water, so you have less effect from the fins at high speed. And of course, because it's much wider, we can take propellers that are much bigger in diameter. The dolphin fin, we'll compare the two here, the dolphin fin is good for propellers up to 12 inches and the orca fin up to 18 inches. Then there's the, the minnow fin. And the minnow fin is something brand new. This fin is designed to clamp on to the underside of an electric trolling motor. So you get you get the benefit of the fins running in the water for extra steering. You also get the horizontal fluke area between the fins that acts like a shock absorber. So as the boat wants to move up and down, this fin has to displace water and that slows down the oscillations of the boat and makes the oscillations nearly, not nearly so severe. Same thing happens with the orca and the dolphin fins. That fluke area, a big fin between the vertical fins, acts like a shock absorber. And we have another fin 
that we use for troll plates. You know, these are simply drilled. You drill through your troll plate and bolt them on with four screws on either side. Uh, typically, the troll plates have got parallel sides on either side, and the fins just line up with that, and you drill through, so it's real simple. Um, when the fin is, when the troll plate is down, the fins give you extra rudder control, so when you're slow, and typically the boat's kind of wallowing around, has very little directional control, these fins give you that control back, so then you can maintain a, a trolling line uh, much better shape and then when your fin is in the up position the fins are still running in the water and so you get benefit of extra steering control from from the troll plate fins the troll plate fins are the exact same fins that we use for hydrofoils and the same thing we're just going to take these fins we drill through holes through the hydrofoil and bolt the fins on so now you're going to have vertical fins on the hydrofoil that will be active when the boat is low and slow and the motor is is down low in the water these fins are going to be active and as you come up to cruise speed the fins are going to come out of the water and and not be holding you back and not adding a whole lot of steering control. So. Those are the basic fins. Those are the basic differences. Um, they all go on real easy. The mounts are, are very universal. Occasionally we run into to a situation where you know, uh, there's something about a motor or something about where they have the anode bolted to the cavitation plate that creates a fit problem, but generally they slide right on. That's the difference, and uh, we hope you give Uncle Norm a try.